That's not uh, very exciting, is it? Let's uh, try and make that sound a bit better. This is Vocal Synth 2, which I've just been able to have a bit of a play with. Um, and I highly recommend this plugin if you can get it. It's absolutely stunning. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm going to turn off the uh, vocoder because at the moment that's what that's what we're on at the moment. So. That's not great, but it is a really good vintage vocoder to be fair. First module we're going to look at. There are five modules. We're going to look at BioVox. Didn't arrive until version two. It basically models itself on the human uh, voice box, and uh, you can do everything with this. You can reshape the vowels. Uh, you can change the formant. You can even add nasal quality and breathiness and you can also change the clarity as well so what I'm doing is I'm driving um, retro synth inside of logic with a sidechain mode in vocal synth 2 so basically what that means is instead of putting it on a MIDI track as an AU MIDI effect I've put it on an audio track as uh, just a standard insert effect and in there you've got three modes you've got auto which basically allows the plugin to analyze everything from your audio file with it pitch everything that's recorded then you've got uh, MIDI which is self-explanatory that's playing on the keyboard within the plugin you need to instantiate it as an AU MIDI effect if you want to do that and the third option is sidechain which you sidechain then the audio channel to a channel with your favorite synth on it from Logic or Talta or whatever synth you're going to be using. And we're using Retro Synth for this just because it's got a nice clean sound, doesn't require a lot of tweaking. And um, so yeah, let's hear what uh, BioVox does to this sample of me. All of these troubles, the odds of mind and everyone else has. So that's <laughs> that's pretty clean what it does to that. So let's have a look at some of the parameters. We have filters. All these modules can be stacked, but they all have filters and panning as well, uh, which is really useful because you can take out the frequencies you don't want, leave the ones behind without having to EQ anything separately, and you can blend them. You've got level and pan on each of these, but you've also got parameter specific, uh, module-specific parameters as well. So here we have first parameter we come to that's exclusive to uh, to BioVox is clarity, so I'll let you what what see what that does. As I drop the slider, it's going to be reducing the level of uh, vocal that we uh, intelligibly understand. Uh, it's going to replace it with the synth and the white noise generator. So if this starts at 100% and going all the way down. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. So, that's obviously giving us the option of hearing the synth um, a little more than the vocal. Um, so let's have a look at shift, which is a formant shifter. So I'll just show you what that sounds like real quick. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. I'll drop it down a bit to about 30. Uh, so now it sounds like this. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. And I'll show you why. So here's the nasal, uh, <laughs> the nasal effect. Never thought I'd say that out loud. This is kind of like a, a bit of a um, 
uh, I don't really know how to describe this. It's like a frequency shift, but it's pitch tracking frequency shift. So um, for any of you who use Manipulator um, by uh, Polyverse Audio and Infected Mushroom or uh, similar frequency shift plugins that actually shift the frequency without the pitch changing. It's a bit like that. So it's, 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 it's fully tracking. So here we go. Here's what this sounds like. I'm going to increase it over time. All of these troubles and yours are mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles and yours are mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles and yours are mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles and yours are mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles and yours. So that was on 100%. Let's drop that down. Uh, and let's have a look at my personal favorite is the breath control. Just listen to the amount of clarity this this adds to a, to a track. So this is from zero. And I'm going to go up um, probably to about 30 maximum. And you'll hear why. It just It's absolutely incredible what this thing does. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else's. And uh, just for the sheer slightly dubious thrill of it, let's put it up to 100%. Watch your ears. This is really creepy. So I'm going to go up maybe from 60 to 100. And this is really, really eerie. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else. Ooh, oh, God. Let's get, let's get that back down. I'll tell you what, let's put that for the purpose of this demonstration. Let's put it on about 20. This is quite neutral sounding. It sounds quite real. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else. The reason for... Um, anyone who's interested that I'm using retro synth as well is because with the internal synths that uh, vocal synth 2 uses there's um, there's an issue with the vibrato we can't get to um, as VIs we can't get to the parameter that changes the vibrato speed or at least we can't get to it very easily um, so I've just swapped those out now the only module that won't work with um, the uh, sidechain capability to drive an external synth obviously is polyvox my bad and that's because it's driving your own it's carrying your own voice using that as a carrier and a modulator because it's more of a, a harmonizer but i will show you what that sounds like before we're done um so biovox also has all of these troubles in your the ability to um to change the vowels so i'm just going to show you what that's like really quickly as well I mean, this is again. It's it's insane, insanely clever, but really quite creepy. All of these troubles are yours and mine, and everyone else has. All of these troubles are quite useful actually for fitting vocals into a mix and I'll show you why if you if you were to kind of blend that really gradually the first vowel slider which is vowel x so if you were to just if I just maybe change it by 20 so from we're in the middle right now which is where it defaults to so I'll just change it one way or the other by 20 and do it the other way afterwards all of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. So it just gives a little alteration to the vowels, and obviously, as you've just seen, you can also do it in really extreme sense. Okay, so let's turn BioVox off for the moment. Now, this one's one of my favorite ones. This is CompuVox. 
So this is this is what this one sounds like by default. Okay, so I might just mess around with the pitch bend and stuff just so you get an idea. This is a, a, an effect that a lot of people have sought after for like decades, actually. All of these troubles and all the mind and everyone left that. So you, okay, so you can still play chords and stuff with this, um, which is really, really cool, obviously. So I'll show you what that sounds like by default without having done anything to it. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else ain't. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else ain't. That's quite, I mean, you could, you could just literally get carried away playing that. So we're going to look at this. You've got bits, bites, and bats. So obviously the bits are a, a down sampler, so a bit crusher thing. All of these troubles are the mind and everyone else All of these troubles are the mind and everyone else So we get the idea of that. Um can be used dynamically. We have we have bytes as well. So these this is more like a smear effect. For anyone who's ever used uh, things like, again, Manipulator and some of the plugins from uh, Sonic Charge, uh, in I think in Sonic Charge Bitspeak, they call it frames. Um, but that's this is what this does. So here we go. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else <laughs> so that's obviously quite extreme territory there, but uh and bats. Okay, so bats, um um I wouldn't even want to begin to describe what they might be in um terms in technical term but what it, it just appears to be like the uh the uh compu box equivalent of the breath control so i'll show you what that does um it's currently on it's currently on 50 and i'll ri i'll rise it first of all and then you can see what it does basically like just a bunch of noise modules i think all of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. <laughs> so. That's bats. If we take it right back down to zero, let's see what it sounds like now. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else So it's it's really around uh, between forty and sixty percent is where it's most effective. So it's basically uh, yeah, like we like we said, it's a series of sort of breath kind of noise module effect and that's in that widens the effect it seems to be in very quite wide stereo that particular effect okay so we've got <laughs> we've got three different modes for the computer module um well i think they're the kind of uh homage to the classic uh I don't know whether you most of you must remember these these kind of activity center touchscreen based things for kids uh so we're currently on spell at the moment so just to remind you again this is spell all of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. um <laughs> we have math uh, which sounds like this all of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else That's quite creepy. So we have that. And we have read, which in my opinion is probably the clearest one. So that's what this sounds like. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. 
All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else Yeah, it's quite quite decent actually that one to be honest. I, I do like what they've done with this module. We also have oscillators on board, which I'm not gonna add now, but they can they can make a huge difference as well to the sound, uh, depending on what waveform you pick. So if I just close CompuBox down, let's do the TalkBox. This is one of its uh, one of its best uh, assets, actually, is the TalkBox. It really is quite a good classic TalkBox sound. And again, we're driving RetroSynth. You can drive your favorite operators or oscillators through this TalkBox. I'll co I'll do a quick thing. Um, when I've finished with the sidechain mode, I'll do a quick uh, overview of what the actual internal ones sound like. And you can judge for yourselves, but I'll be honest, I quite like the externals. Um, give you a bit more presence, because you can then go further and edit those synths, obviously, because they're logic synths. So here's the talk box um, through uh, Retro Synth. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. Okay, so here we have, uh, again, the low pass and high pass filters. We have a pan control. And we have the first parameter that's specific to TalkBox is drive. So let's just have a quick uh, play with that. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. So that's on zero now. I'm going to put it maybe about 40. Uh, well then we have speaker. Let's let's bring it right back to nothing. So here we go. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. I mean, that's pretty classic. That's, that's quite aggressive at the top there, but it's pretty classic. So let's bring it down, down to about 50. So formant, self-explanatory, but just so, you, just so you know. All of these troubles are yours and everyone else All of these troubles are yours and everyone else All of these troubles are yours and mine. So there's that. Mode. Okay, so we've got three modes. We were on classic mode. We were just then. So this is, this is dark. This is dark mode. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. <laughs> so on point a lot of this stuff. So we went. From this moment, went, this is classic again. So. All of these troubles are yours and mine and... So that's a fairly neutral kind of uh, uh, mode, it seems like. And we have bright, which is probably a bit more like your kind of typical Daft Punk kind of um, vibe. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. So that's the talk box. Let's just do the vocoder thing because it's here. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. So that is on a kind of a classic mode, I think. I mean, it's really good, actually. It's one of the better vintage emulations of a vocoder. We're on vintage, so I'm going to change that to... Uh, smooth. Let's see what this sounds like. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else is. That's certainly, it's a different interpretation of them. And hard. I'd imagine this to be quite uh, clear in terms of the vowels, I think. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else is. They are very different. Let's have a look at the parameters we have with the vocoder. So we have filters and pan as usual. Uh, then we have shift, which is again the formant. 
um, or the, the just the the band tuning uh, all in one, you know, globally. Uh, we then have uh, the scale, which is not what I thought it was, actually. I thought that might map the filtering across the keyboard like it does for Formant in uh, the Polyvox module, but it's not. It's um, it's the way the vocoder, it's the resolution, essentially, of the processing. So if I drop it all the way down to zero and play, and then bring it up again. <laughs> I'm going to drop back down to 50 where it defaulted to. And I'm not going to do all these, but basically we have 11 bands and we can pan some of these out. So what I will do is I will go down to where it says pan. So we start from band four, I think, because they're not too low that way. So let's just see what you can pan all these out wherever you want them. So. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else Okay, so that's that. So I'll now remove that module from what we're doing. Okay, so let's bring in the modules one at a time in this mode. Uh, so BioVox is going in first with the settings that we established as well. So here we go. This is BioVox again. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. So that's one way. Of using vocal synth 2. Another way of using it is with its internal oscillators. We have our vocal here already that we can use. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. So we have that and we're going to remove vocal synth 2 from that channel. And now we have our audio file. All of these troubles are yours. So we have that we have that there. Okay, so now let's go to our, our track that had retro synth on it and get rid of that. Go to isotope. Let's make sure we select that in uh, making sure I selected it in stereo. It's all right. Otherwise, that would have been not very exciting or at least not as exciting. So let's select our sidechain source differently now. So we've got vocal synth 2 as an audio MIDI controllable effect now. So We've got it on a MIDI track, uh, where retro synth, retro synth was, I can't speak. And, okay, so Vox Audio 1. Uh, yeah, we want that one. Okay, so now when I press play. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone. Let's see what we can do. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone now says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else says. All of these troubles are yours and Sorry about that. I'm just setting up MIDI mode in uh, vocal synth. Okay, so now then we can do slightly different things here. So 
let's turn the vocoder off because it always it defaults to vocoder. Let's take that one off. We can use Polyvox. Let's use Polyvox. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and... Okay, let's put a bit of uh, widening on that. Let's move that a bit as well, so the performance as well. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. It sounds odd on its own, but if you blend it with something like BioVox. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. All of these troubles are yours and mine and everyone else has. So there's a lot that you can do with this thing. Um, and that's just a quick overview. So yeah, I know it's been quite a lengthy uh, tutorial or demonstration, whatever you want to call it, but uh, seemed necessary to go through the various uh, features. I hope that some of you have found it uh, helpful and entertaining in equal measure. And I'm now going to, with any luck, stop this recording. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all on the flip, as they say.